Welcome viewers, in this video, we will see the electromagnetic induction and its law. First, we will see the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The Faraday discovered that the EMF is produced in the electromagnetic induction. That is widely used in the commercial generation of power. So, based on the Faraday's law, whenever conductor cuts the magnetic flux or whenever magnetic flux linkage with the conductor changes and EMF is induced in the circuit in the conductor. So, there is a magnetic flux, there is a rate of change of magnetic flux. If there is any rate of change of magnetic flux, then the EMF will be induced. That is the Faraday discovered the EMF induced based on the Faraday's law. Also, the magnitude of induced EMF depends upon the rate of change of flux linkage. So, that is the expression given by the Faraday's law. So, the expression for induced EMF is E equal to N d pi by dt. So, this is the statement given by Faraday's law. Rate of change of flux will induce the EMF. This N is nothing but number of turns available in the coil. So, E is the induced EMF n is number of turns of the coil d pi by dt is nothing but rate of change of flux e equal to n d pi by dt that is the equation from the faraday's law now we'll go to the lens law the direction of induced emf is given by the lens law faraday's law give the expression n d pi by dt the direction is given by the lens law according to this law the induced EMF will be acting in such a way as oppose the very cause producing it. There is a opposition between the induced EMF and rate of change of applied voltage. So, that is the statement given by the Lenz law. Cause producing means the applied voltage. So, there is are both are opposed each other. So, that E equal to minus N d pi by dt. So, this direction is given by the lens law. It is clearly given the EMF will acting in such a way oppose the very cause producing it. It will oppose the rate of change of flux. So, that E equal to minus N d pi by dt. Right? The direction is given by the lens law. Now, we will go to the Fleming's rules. There are two rules available. Fleming left hand rule and Fleming right hand rule. First, we will see the Fleming left hand rule. What is plumbing left hand rule? It is what is this given. In the left hand, we have to stretch the forefinger, middle finger and thumb finger which is perpendicular to each other. So that this forefinger will indicate the magnetic field. This middle finger will indicate the current. So the motion of conduct is indicated by the thumb. So, this is the Fleming's left hand rule, the statement given. In the left hand, if you stretch the fingers in such a way that forefinger, middle finger and thumb are perpendicular to each other, forefinger will indicate the magnetic field, middle finger will indicate the current, thumb finger will thumb will indicate the motion of conductor. Now, we will see the statement. According to this rule, if the middle finger, forefinger and thumb of left hand are at right angle to one another, we need to stretch the three fingers such a way that it is right angle to one another. In such cases, if middle finger and forefinger will represent direction of current and magnet, magnetic field respectively. Middle finger and forefinger will represent, middle finger represents the direction of current four finger will represent the magnetic field. So, that the thumb will indicate the direction of force acting on the conductor. The thumb will give the direction of force acting on the conductor. So, this is used in a DC motors. So, we are able to identify the three quantities that is direction of current, magnetic field, direction of force on a conductor. So, in a DC motor, when a current, when a current is flowing, the flux is produced. Due to the flux, rate of change of flux, the, the conductor is start rotating, right. 
so the current flows magnetic field is created so the motor will start rotating so these three things are given by this Fleming left hand rule that all these three are perpendicular to each other so that is the concept given by the Fleming's left hand rule right when the current flows magnetic field is created due to rate of change of flux the motor the conductor starts the armature start rotating these three are represented by the Fleming left hand rule now we'll go to the Fleming right hand rule So the Fleming right hand rule is used to determine the direction of induced EMF in a conductor. The previous case is the direction of motion force acting on a conductor. Now we can see the induced EMF in a conductor. right? So in a right hand if we stretch the thumb, forefinger and middle finger which is perpendicular to each other, the thumb will give the motion of conductor forefinger finger will give the magnetic field and middle finger will give the induced EMF. These three fingers are indicated this, the, these three parameters which are all are perpendicular to each other. Now we will see the statement. According to this law, if middle finger, forefinger and thumb of the right hand are at a right angle to one another. In a right hand, we need to keep these three fingers at right angle to each other. Middle finger, forefinger and thumb. In such a way that the forefinger and thumb represents the direction of magnetic field and direction of motion. So that this middle finger will indicate the induced EMF in the direction, direction of induced EMF. So it is used in the DC generators. So DC generator means EMF will be induced. So while applying the magnetic field and when the conductor start rotates, the EMF is induced. So that the direction of magnetic field, the direction of rotation is indicated by forefinger and thumb. The induced EMF is indicated by middle finger. So in a generator what we are doing, we are rotating the conductor so that magnetic field will cut the conductor. Accordingly, the EMF will be induced. These three parameters are explained by this, by the Fleming's right hand rule, right. So that is used in the DC generators. So in this video, we discuss about the electromagnetic induction and its law. The first we discuss the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction then Lenz law. Lenz law will give the direction. Then Fleming's left hand rule that is applicable for DC motors. Fleming's right hand rule that is applicable for DC generators. Thank you.